hello and welcome to a new tutorial about field dependency and we are going to display it on our visual force page yeah for that we need to create an object click on this object link and click on this new custom object now add something like banana as your name of your object say okay give the plural name and now don't forget to click on this launch new custom tab wizard okay save this and uh, now just select any on of that and click on next come down i'm doing it so fast because uh, this is not a part of a video but i like to show you that how exactly all these things going on okay so we have created the object banana and now it's time to add some fields okay so if you go here and click on this tab we had just created click on this new and now there is only one default field that is called banana name okay if you want to add field then click on this link and we gonna to add two pick list first here and now if you just make the duplicate okay now next click here no first of all we do the first thing okay so name it controller okay enter some values and enter here uh, names starting from uh, a and names starting from R okay now click on this next again next and uh, save okay come here and just refresh that now here the name of our new pick list options are name starting from a names starting from r so this is the controller okay now again here click on the pick list and next now enter here names and write first three words starting from a like amar my friend's name and uh, um ankit and a4 apple 2 yeah um rakesh the name is starting from r okay roshan my elder brother name and rocky yeah and click on this next next and save come here and refresh that now here the controller has names starting from a and names starting from r and here all the six names three starting from a and three starting from r okay so the dependent pick list is like if you click on the name starting from a then only the amar ankit and apple which names are uh, starting from a will display okay and this gonna to hide so for that we have to do something okay what let me tell you uh, click on this fill dependencies and click on this new and now select the controlling field so i gonna to click on control and now the names name is the dependent Failed. Click on this continue and now it's time to include uh, name Ankit Apple. So these are two headers names starting from A and R are coming from the controller field and names are all this coming from the names field. Okay, we have just created that. Now select here, double click here. Okay, so you can select all these things like that that is starting from a three and r from three do not select this otherwise you will be 
uh, if you select any of this then this apple will come if you select this too okay so don't do that okay uh, if you click on this include values you have this javascript validation <laughs> yeah so um, actually on clicking double click on it it works include values it all already included okay now click on this save and here we go refresh that and now there is nothing yeah if you click on this name starting from a all the three will come okay I'm not on get apple and if you select R then rocket shortened and rocky so in this way we can do that now it's time for uh, a new thing that is called visual force page so just hurry up for that and um, delete that where's the bomb yeah still that all this thing right here apex and dependent the glitched with the name click again and now just write code okay so um we need something that is called banana C as our standard because all the fields are in this so right here uh, if you make it large so you can see that standard controller that is banana and delete all these things right here apex uh, form okay and apex uh, page block and right here apex page block section and just give uh, anything like title as dependent big list right save this and now here we go okay now at input not input it's apex input uh, field yeah and give the value not this like this value value yeah <laughs> okay um, use expression tag and right here um banana underscore c yeah dot now it's time to get the name like APA name of the controller here so just paste that now copy all these things hit enter and paste now get the API name of the names which is a subcategory paste that and save this here we go now in our own visual force page there is this you cannot select anything here until you can choose from here names are starting from a and now all the names will come and if you click on names are starting from r then all the r names will come so in this way we can do all these things okay creating an object and doing all this stuff so hope you will enjoy it and uh, i suggest just practice it because uh, there is both the point and click okay feature and uh, the code too so do practice more and become more smarter okay for now thank you bye bye